Laurelson Hall joined by their brothers, quote unquote, from Fairfield Prep. The Laurelton Hall bench linked at the elbows. Yeah, they're ready to let loose here. But 3.8 is a lot of time. They can get it to into the front court, depending where the pass is caught on the inbound. And again, Landry will have no obstruction as she triggers. Landy to inbound. She's going to throw it deep to in front court. It's caught. Ten for the win. Mercy. They're going to go to the replay. Wow. Maria Wesley hits the home run ball, a three-pointer at the buzzer. And Mercy finally ends the drought. But they're going to the replay. Clearly out of her hands. And the Tigers win the Double L Girls title. What a finish. You couldn't write a better script. Well, Tim Coase wrote up that play, Bob Joyce. And it was an outstanding effort to execute that final play, starting with Sheena Landy again. Laurelton Hall played off the ball, allowing her a clear path to throw the basketball. Caught by Santaro, the feed to Wesley, the three executed it and gave Mercy the title. What a fantastic finish to our coverage of CPTV sports basketball coverage for the high school championships. And you can see the sudden dejection on Laurelton Hall's face I mean, you talk about the change of emotion, and they were able to get the last shot off. Mercy was for the win. Well, the, both teams valiant in their efforts. And you know that Laurelton Hall was so close to victory, it had to be executed to perfection to go the length of the floor. Two passes had to be made, both perfect. The shot then had to be perfect and Mercy gets the victory. Maria Wesley, her only three of the game. One for six. As a broadcast partner once told me, it's not how many, it's when. And boy, did Maria Wesley pick a heck of a time to get it. And Glenn Cottesell is laughing at me because he can tell you who that person is. It's Randy Levine, the former UConn basketball player who Glenn and I have both had the pleasure of working with on the radio. And I 